Welcome to Bean Crazy Custom Creations. I'm Miss Francis, and today I'm going to do, um, I know I've done it several times, I need to do a dragon notebook for my granddaughter for Christmas. So I'm going to get you down and we're going to get coloring. I'm going to pour it in uh, Lutz Resin regular epoxy with a black background, and let's get down and get to it. Now, her colors she likes is um, gold. So I'm going to do the dragon itself in, in this um, gold Lutz Resin Chrome Powder. I don't know how well it will work, but we're going to see. We're going to get it in there. I mean... I'm trying not to get it where I don't want it. That's hard to do. It's just her. Something she asked for. And I figured I would make it for her for Christmas. That would work. I may end up having to make some for the other granddaughters too. But I think I may do those a little different. I mean, she asked, specifically asked for the, and you know, before I finish the gold, I think I want to do the eye. Because I don't want the gold all filtering into the eye. Yeah, I don't. Let me get the eye done in purple first. That way, if the gold falls in there, it shouldn't matter. Let me get my alcohol over here and my white. We're going to wipe this gold out of there. I didn't really want it in there. But it sure fell right in. After I, <laughs> after I spent that time cleaning the mold up, I did. I was trying to get all that um, pigment out of the little crevices. Let it dry for a minute, and then we're going to do the eye in purple. I don't know about the center of the eye. Okay, I may do it in gold because I have a purple eye to put on there. And I had thought about, no, I, don't, I really don't want to put the eye on. I don't want to put the eye on in advance. Okay, so we're just going to go down in here. I don't like that it goes down in those big old crevices, really. But it does, and it's hard to get them. It's hard to get them out of those points. I really didn't want them, want it in the points. But I was trying to make sure I got it covered. Because now it doesn't seem to want to. Probably because of the alcohol. I, just wiped it with. It doesn't seem to want to go down in that in the spot where I want it to go. Yeah, I may have to do some little bit of finagling there. Just trying to kind of get it burnished in there, the color. Yeah, I can get it wiped off of the other side. I just 
want it down in the spots where I want to. And I don't, yeah, I will probably dump some of this out. I'm really trying not to. I'm trying not to do this. Getting it down in there. I need to use a different brush, I think. Because this really isn't getting it down where I want it to be. Might as well make a point on it. That might work better. Trying to get a purple in there. I don't know. I don't know that it's gonna. Let's. That's pretty purpley. I don't know about down in those spots, in the points, which is where I wanted the purple to be. Really, I want it down in those points. But I didn't want it to be stuck. Um, all right. So I don't think that's. I don't know about the center. Center eye. I have an eye to glue on it. So, and I'm not. I'm not putting it in the resin because I don't. I don't think that'll work. I did finally place my order for SRC, so I'm just waiting for it to get here. Or, or uh, I don't remember if it was clear or white. I think it was clear and black. So, let's hope. That, that works for me. I don't 
know. I was thinking about making my grandson a superhero one. And take the back of the smaller notebook I have and pour it twice and then put him my I have yeah, I got Spider-Man, I got the Hulk, and I got Batman. So I thought that might be a... And then take the plain part of it for my other granddaughter and make her a notebook. I have some. Some of those uh, epoxy bouquets that I did in there. And I think she, that would be perfect for her. I mean, she's older, so eventually she won't, she, she definitely won't need a notebook because she'll be out of school soon, so. So it is what it is, I, you know, figured she could use it for an address book. You know, she goes off to college. He's gonna, he might need an address book. And she will be going, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's, she's planning on going to college. Well, she knows just working a regular job and not having any kind of job training is not what she wants to do for the rest of her life. So, I would say that she will definitely. Some of that really... What's a little see-through? I mean, it's chrome powder. I didn't think it'd be that see-through. I don't know if they'll do the backing gold or not. I guess I could, but I don't think it's gonna matter. And I'm thinking about doing this eye in the center in gold because I got a purple eye to put on it. Purple dragon's eye to go on it. So I'm thinking I might just do it in gold. It's not all going to show anyway because I got, oh dang, I just wiped my purple off. Doggone it. Now I'll have to go back and redo that one. Spots where I wiped it off. Make the eye gold. Go back and fix my purple that I messed up. Okay, where did I put my purple at? I knock it off, probably. I didn't put it back because the box is. Yeah, the box ain't open. Covering it was. With crap. Almost said that word. <laughs> Almost said it. I'm trying not to do that. Get those spots where I wiped it off and get them colored again. There's 
some spots I would like to be darker. I just don't. There's that. And I think I'll pause you and I'll get my um, black epoxy mixed up so I can pour it and get it put in the curing machine. Make sure this one's, make sure it's clean. I just think that it could be gold, but I don't think it's going to matter. Actually, honestly, I'm hoping she won't carry this to school. Because I see it going bye-bye. So, somehow... I'm thinking maybe I will figure out a way to, I'm going to figure out a way to put her name in, dang, my hair looks like, put her name in, in the resin. So you, her name will be there. You can't get it out. I'm going to go see if I can get my little printer to print up her name so I can put her name in it. I think that's a good idea and then I'll mix my epoxy up and we'll be back. I do want her name in it. All right, we'll be back. I'm sorry, I got I got dogs up there barking. I don't know what the heck. I decided to go with gold. Let's resin bright gold mica powder instead of black. So I'm put two scoops in. Because I really want it to be gold. Let's set this out of my way. Get the gold stirred in. And make sure I get all the mica mixed up. Um, I did print her name on this little, uh, it's a, just a little tiny printer that I got off of, I don't know, TikTok, I believe. It's not the greatest, but I'm going to put her name on it anyway and kind of try and. Coat it with something so that it can't be picked off. I'm hoping she won't take this to school, really. But you never know about Bella. She's going to want to show it off, so I'm hoping she won't take it to school. Am I right to look? Well, I think I have my little notebook rings over there which I got off of Amazon too in different colors I mixed up 16 ounces now I don't know if that's going to be enough really because I should have wrote on there how much it was the last time I did it and I did not so we're going to we're going to see I see a hair. Darn it. See him. Just made a mess there. Hmm. I have no clue what. 
what they are barking at. I have already looked. Nobody's out front. I don't I don't understand. Okay. There's 16 ounces. I figured this one might take eight or more. I don't remember. And I was hoping that my table was level here. But I'm not going to guarantee it. Plus I want to kind of go, if I'm careful about it, I can go down in there and poke around in there and make sure, hopefully, that I can dislodge any bubbles that are in there. Come on, Kay. All right, I see some bubbles coming up. I'm going to let this sit for just a few minutes before I pour the back. I need to get something to try and dislodge these bubbles. Where'd my tools go? I don't want that one. I want the one with the point in it. Trying to We're going to put this, I'm going to give it a spritz. And then I am going to put that over there and get it started in the machine. So I probably have to move some stuff out of the way so I don't trip over it. I have so much stuff to clean up down here, it's ridiculous. That's my gift box, which I want to finish. Alright, let me get this moved out of the way for a moment. Let's try and get this set up here. Hopefully I won't spill it. I'm hoping that it's not up to any level, which it looks like it's all running to one end for some weird reason. And that would be the floor, I would think. Bubbles in. I don't know if that's bubbles or that's an aqua that did 
Did you get milk? There you go. Alright. Let's get this pot out. Oh, you gotta scoop it. Oh, come on. Too far away. It's that. Now, I probably have more than I need for the other side, but we'll see. Over here's the other side. I got my mixer there. I'm trying to clean the paddle off on it. This has got all kinds of, it's got all kinds of glitter in it. Or, I want to say, flakes. Mica flakes. And I may need some sticks for this one too, because I don't know how level that side of the table is. And I'm going to set it on the heat mat, so I don't want it. Yeah, I can't get that out. I don't know if it's on this side. It might be on the other side. Okay. Alright. Give me some sticks just in case I need them. that gold. I do. I don't know though which which way of this might be unlevel. So I think what I'm going to do is put a stick under this end enough and I may have to put one under the other end too. It looks like it's, it looks like it's doing okay. I'm dripping everywhere. Doggone it. Stop dripping down there. Yeah, looks like it's doing okay. Yeah, I can't really... I don't see the epoxy running, so I'm going to spritz it, and then watch it for a few minutes, uh oh, there we go, doggone it, come on, no we don't, we are not, no, we are not going to do this. Yeah, see, I got a little, a little too much on this end that's covering my little nibs here. Get a little bit of it out of there. 
a woman here. What a mistake. It's okay. It'll it'll work. I'll probably have to drill the holes out, but it's not overflowing. So that was my that was my main deal there. It's it looks like it could overflow on that side, but we'll put a stick under that side too. Oh come on! I'm trying not to move you. I don't need a bunch. I just need it to have enough so it's not going to overflow. And let's put one under the bottom too, just to be on the safe side. I don't, I don't really want it overflowing. This is not my new mat, but I still don't want it to overflow. I don't know if that's going to go under there. Maybe this. Let me get a shorter one. One of the smaller ones to go under. Oh, come on, stop moving. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put the top on that one and turn my heat mat on. Got to get my other one cleaned off because I've already found out that I cannot use I cannot use the uh, timer I, the timer I have on my other one. I can't use it on this one. The plugs the plugs totally different. What the hell? I'm stuck on something here. Too much crap sitting over here and my little hood thing wants to fall off. Okay. Let me get those rubber gloves out of there. No gloves on my heat mat. Alright, let me turn it on. I'm gonna find something to pull that other in. Okay, it's on. Okay, there's that. Let me find something to pour that in. Let's do me some. I don't. I don't know that I can get them all done, but I'll put them in there with that. Let's do. Let's do some uh, skulls. I may not get them all poured, but hey.
If I can fill one more up or not, maybe. I'm trying to get some videos out before my live and no I'm just I need to I need to find me a place upstairs to do some of this I don't know Could be that I don't have my little sidekick down here with me anymore and it's kind of hard coming downstairs. I don't know what it is, but there's something about coming downstairs that kind of bugs me sometimes. And then I get to where I don't, I don't really feel like, I don't know. I want to do something, but I don't. I don't know. That doesn't make sense. I know it doesn't make any sense to most people. That's not going to fill it all the way. Alright, well I'm just going to have to set that one aside. So I can fill it up the rest of the way. Because it's not going to fill all the way. I may just mix up some little bit of clear and throw it in there. Depends. I've got another I got another video I want to do so let me take the cover off of this and put this see if I can get that in there without spilling it which might not happen. It's not full, so I'll set it aside. All right, we'll be back when they're ready to unmold. Bye for now. Okay, I'm back. Um, I let the, these been out for a while. I let them cool all the way. Let's take them out and get them put together. I did manage to get Bella's name printed on that little printer. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to put it on her notebook. That's the back. Yeah, it's definitely thinner on one end. God bless it. All right, it is what it is. I just have to tell her she'll have to be careful. This one's not. This one's fine. Now, I'm going to put a purple eye right there. So I got a purple eye right here. Glue that eye in there for her. Oh, let's put it together first. Then I glue the eye on it. Alright, I got these. I got these off of uh, Amazon. They were in different colors.
then I got these little, this little pack of different colored paper for it out by Amazon. So I'm going to put the gold color paper in there for her because she's going to. They don't need the paper to be that big, really. So, the reason why I'm, I wished that one had not come out like that. Dang it. So upset about that. I don't know why it's so thin. All right, well, crud. this matches but it doesn't look like it does too well if I match it down there it, it doesn't match here wow that's weird because it was supposed to match and it does not well crud all right well that's what we're putting in it for now um, I'll have to I'll have to get her some different paper. Yep, I definitely have to get her different paper. Gosh darn it. Thought that paper would work. not going to line up with all the holes like it should. Bless me. Oh, I got some paper upstairs I could put in it. I got way too much paper in mine. So I'm going to take some out of mine and put it in hers. See, that's going to be, and they're off for sure. I'm definitely going to have to get some different paper. Come on, darn it. They don't stay in there like they're supposed to. I like that until I get them all where I want them. Well, don't buy this paper because it doesn't work. I thought it would be just fine, and it does, it's not. get a hole punched in that paper in that end I mean it the holes if it, it could have worked if there wasn't if I punched a hole right there which I might have to do just to make it work for now all right let's see here let me I'll have to go upstairs and get my hole punch because I don't think I have one down here Stay in there. Just snap you shut for now. Because I'm 
how you trying to come out. All right, give me a pen here. Go get my hole punch. I thought I had a one hole punch, but I, I do. I just don't know where it is. I'm going to go get the other one. I'll be right back. All right. Punch an extra hole. So we're going to lay the paper there and hopefully put one in every wound here. I'm trying to hurry. <laughs> trying to hurry and get this done. Trying. I wanted to get this video up. I'd like to do another one tomorrow before my live. Um, that's, you know, we'll see how that works. <laughs> I'm trying to get some more Christmas gifts made and figure out Christmas gifts because I do have quite a few to figure out. I've got some more pendants to make and uh, more stuff to do. So that's what I'm trying to get done so I can get everything settled about who's getting what and there's only one box that I actually have to ship so I'm good with that and then just ship into one address well I gotta ship to my grand my great grandson next month for his birthday but for Christmas, I'm just shipping it to one address. That's it. They can add, they all spend Christmas together so they can make sure that everybody gets it. Okay. I've had a little bit of a trouble with these. I mean, I like them. But with mine, I guess maybe I got too much paper in it. And it does not want to stay. It's way too much paper. Okay. Let's do... Let's try it this way. Maybe. I was trying to get them through there so I could go ahead and stick those together. And I'll do the other three. Get Della's eye on there and then I could put this one up and call it ready. Which is fine with me. one at a time here because it doesn't seem to want to work. eyeball glued on. I'm going to use this B7000. And 
And I can't remember last time if I had to take some off of that eye to make mine lay flat. Yeah, I really think that I'm going to have to smooth that out a little bit. And to smooth it out, I will probably use my... Um, hot knife since they figure out where I put it because I did bring it back in here come on I need that smooth let me see if I can knock anything else off of here not have brought it back in here. Let me check the kitchenette where I left it lay because it, I didn't want it laying on my desk. Alright. We're just going to heat it up and we're going to shave that eye down so that I can ah, wrong light God bless it yeah there's one part of this plug that's jacked up okay now what what did I do oh God now I need both of them, both of them to go out. Shoot. I don't know what's going on with this. All right, let me plug this in and let it heat up. Okay. I'm about done with that. <laughs> really, I am. But done with these ring lights. I got this one that doesn't want to work half the time. Then I got another one that does not work, period. I just brought that one down from uh, down here from upstairs and it was working fine upstairs. So I don't have a clue what's going on. I don't. As soon as this gets hot, all I want to do is shave enough of that oval off so that I can make that lay flat. I need to get me a new blade. I don't want to touch the rest of the notebook with it, really. Because I don't want to burn anything else. I don't know that I could do it with my deburring tool. be getting hot by now making my light flash here mm-hmm making my light dim I 
I give up. All right. Where am I? It's uh, probably too much plugged into that power strip, which doesn't make sense because I have all brand new plugins down here. He's putting me all brand new plugins. Come on. I can't believe this thing. I know it's getting hot. And it sure does not want to cut. I need a new blade. But now it should cut at least. He doesn't want to. I'm definitely going to have to get some new blades. This blade's not working very well. It's not wanting to cut into it like I want it to. Because I know I had to smooth the eye of mine out some in order to glue that on. I had to take the hump off. Which is what I'm trying to do here. And it doesn't seem to want to cut. Okay, I can't set it down because I'll end up burning something. Where's my little stand for it? It's pretty bad. I don't I don't know what I did with the the stand for it. Should be in here, but I don't see it. Here on the table somewhere. Well, it is turned on. We're just not getting not getting hot enough to do what I need it to do.
gotta be careful. to be perfect just needs to be flat enough to put that eye on so it stays stuck Trying to, now I'm just trying to really get it even so I can not have a bunch of little divots there. I may have to sand it. Been upstairs binge watching uh, YouTube channels because I'm so far behind. So I was binge watching Miss June. I binge watched Beverly earlier with custom, custom created, handmade crafts. Now I'm going and I watched Coral and I watched. I haven't watched all of Carla. I gotta go back and do hers. I was trying to switch off. I gotta binge watch Gert. I know there's some of hers I missed. So I'm gonna binge watch hers. And get them. Get myself all caught up one way or the other. Gotta, gotta work on it. Come on. You just don't want to work with me here. I don't understand it. I can use it on everything else and it works fine. I don't want to cut all the way through. I just want to cut enough to glue the eye down. Yeah. If I don't pay attention, I'm going to be cutting all the way through. Which I'm pretty, pretty close to making a big boo-boo here. Let me just do this slowly. I'll take just a little bit more off this edge and I will sand it real quick and uh, 
clear that I did on. And mine will call that good because otherwise I'm going to end up taking too much off. All right, let me take this back in the kitchen head so it can cool down. Just put it in the sink in there. That way it doesn't catch nothing on fire. be uh, let's see what I did with them Alrighty. I don't know what's going on. I unplugged that now. <laughs> now my ring light don't want to come back on. Crap. Dang it. I don't know what's going on here. Clean this off and put the lid back on it before it starts leaking everywhere. Oh, come on, steak. When you're in a hurry, nothing seems to work. Nothing. I'm telling you, nothing seems to work. Yep, nothing seems to work for you. Stuff sticking to my hand. God bless it. I don't have glue on my hand, so I don't know why it wants to move. May have to use E6000. I thought this would hold it, but it's not wanting to. It's because I need to smooth it out some more on this end. That end's sticking pretty good. This end is not. 
Uh, let's see. I do have some E6000. I didn't really want to do that, but I'm about to the point where I, I want it to stick. A little extra on that end. Yeah, I just gotta remember not to wiggle it around a bunch. I'll put a little extra on that end because it's not I mean I could peel it off I just want it to stay stuck there it is I'll get a picture of it for you oh and I, I forgot I got some I got some skulls that I did in gold some that I didn't, one that I didn't get finished. <laughs> Almost stuck a paper towel in that one. This one's got a rip in it. Okay, that can go back in there. The other glue can go back in there. My files. glue off my my silicone tool okay yeah I can see it but I I really don't want to I mean I should because it's starting to move here I don't want you moving let's get some of this glue off I really wanted it to stay up under that end. Okay. Hopefully I can just lay it flat, peel it off. I need to get something and get the glue off my off my mat there. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, I did these uh, skulls in gold. <laughs> With the rose sticking out of his mouth. hair bow, I think. Yeah, I thought so. Yep. Hair bow. <laughs> yeah, she got some air bubbles there. And then, I don't know what this one is. Oh. It's a hippie chick with the flowers around her head. Okay, yeah, I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I need to take a little more glue off of there, though. get a picture of this and so I have it for now. Okay. All right. Let's go with this. Um, yeah, I'm always constantly, I gotta get that board down. All right. We're gonna start with the ones I have on paper here. Creepy Crafts. 
Mama's hyphen Madhouse hyphen Creations, June Sunshine Crafts, Patricia's Crafting Corner, Reb Critter, The Resiner's Poor House, Martha's Craft Room, uh, Blue Star Creative, or is it? No, it's not Blue Star. Sorry, strike that. It's Bright Star Creative. Bright Star. Sorry. Sorry, Miss Louise. Wanda's Plus Creations. Stacy underscore the Crafty Cat. India Brady Art. Art by me, Andrew Walker. Billy Holman Creations. Cosmic Carol's Creations. At Artsy Doodles One, my love of crafts, Butch's resin creations, dragons and dresses craft sortium, created with wingless angels, TLC's handmade hayloft, Roseanne's crafting corner, Coral Marine's resin art. A uh, Marvelous Artsy, Crafting with Carla, Cynthia's Crafts and More, Amy's Resin Corner, Sam I Am Resin Crafts, Cat Johnson, Many Scenes GB, uh, I did say Martha's Craft Room, let's see, and I have Easel does it studio and that's Michelle McDaniel Ruby's resin studio custom created handmade crafts and that's created CRE the number 8 TED handmade crafts I did Gail's already hers is mama's hyphen madhouse hyphen creations clear creations the Blue Elephant Gifts, and Gert Creates. And I, I know there's a couple more, but I've got to get them. I've got to get my board down and rewrite the whole thing because I need to add these others to it. But for now, we're done. I'll see you all again in the morning and then tomorrow evening because tomorrow will be Friday Night Live. Which I... I think it's going to be something Halloween-y. I don't know. I've got some, a couple more decorations I'd like to do. But bye for now.